Hello everybody, I'm Lord Master and you're not. Welcome back to the Oregon Trail. Yes, I am going to do another trail once again. And I'm not going to be doing a serious trail this time. Instead, I'm going to be stupid as hell in this one. On purpose. You're going to like that. <laughs> Especially a few tips and tricks that I'll do throughout the trail. So let's get started. Five people, of course. And I'm not going to be Lord Master today, but I'm going to be Crackhead Doug. <laughs> That's right. Crackhead Doug was a merchant. A drug dealer. Yeah. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> and we're going to leave in February in 1860. And we're going to do this from uh, Nauvoo to the Great Salt Lake, which in real life it's referred to as the Mormon Trail. I'm not a Mormon myself, but if any of you people from Utah or any of you who are Mormons that are watching this, you're misinformed. There, there will be no offensive remarks towards Mormons or any other racial or religious purposes. I am doing this for entertainment. Okay? Now it's going to take me time to figure out the names. Oh, no, no, no. I thought of it. Time to bring back the five-year-old retard. Yeah. <laughs> who else, who else, who else? Trying to think. Oh, yeah, let's bring him back. If I spell his name right. Yeah, I got it. Rudolph, man. Don't ask. Uh. Oh, I know. Nope. It stands for retarded man who lives, even though the few letters are excluded, in a tree. Yeah, <laughs> a retarded man who lives in a tree. So we got two kinds of retards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, think of another one. Oh, yeah. Barkeep. It's the barkeep from Mount Olympus. If you don't get it, that's from a reference from one of my videos called Forgotten Hope 2, Mount Olympus, where I played as New Zealand against the uh, uh, German Wehrmacht um, during World War II Greece. And finally, my main man, Horatio. Horish <laughs> Conestoga Wagon. Merchant is commerce and trade, obviously. Oh, if I'm going to be stupid, then let's be cooking. Uh, we'll find more animals, yes. And find more edible plants. And the rest, musical sewing in Spanish. We'll leave out the 20. And, and I'm leaving all the useful ones unuseful. So yeah, that's how to be a crackhead merchant from God knows where. <laughs> this here is Nauvoo and Salt Lake City. You see, if I did like Canesville slash Council Bluffs to Salt Lake City, that trail would be short, so I want to make it a little longer. <sighs> so I don't want to waste any more time here, so let's get going. You're a merchant who's come to Nauvoo in 1860 for the purpose of setting off to the journey west to Great Salt Lake City. Let me rephrase that. You're a crackhead merchant, <laughs> a drug dealer, who has come to Nauvoo in 1860 for the purpose of selling drugs to the west into the Great Salt Lake City. Or wherever I chose to sell myself. Uh, you die. Hey, you looking for a wagon train to hook up with? Our train's still in need of a few more wagons. You wanna join us? Um, uh, I guess. We're planning on leaving soon. We're a large group of good, hard-working folks. Good, hard-working. I wouldn't even dream of heading out on the trail alone. I would. Or even with any fewer than ten wagons. The more people you go with, the greater your chances of survival. And that's the gospel truth. You know what? That's kind of, um, subverted. The more people you go, the greater chance of survival. In actuality, the more people we bring, the more chance of you get someone's disease. Wow. 
why on earth would a cowboy like him get a pocket watch? Gee, I don't have anything to trade my dollars. What? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, it's been like a month or so. so the I merchants here in town offer basic packages of supplies based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. Of course, you can shop around on your own or add to the basic set. So, which package would you like? Well, then again, I'm no Arab merchant, but I'll take six months. And for God's sakes, get winter clothing. Where's the clothing store? Clothing store. Clothing store, where are you? There you are. Because we're going to need winter coats and winter scarves. I don't want them to die on purpose. I don't want to start off like that. I'm not that much of a crackhead. Holy God. Scary man is Franklin Page. You ought to watch him out. Matter of fact, I think he looks like Lord Master. Yeah, from now on, for the rest of my videos, if you ever plan on watching them, you will have to picture Lord Master as Franklin Page. What? Uh. Com stock load. Is that a place or is that a something? Whatever. Give me a dollar hat. Thank you. Now, tools. Because we need water. Always get a spare. And for some reason, I'm bringing a washboard this time. And you know what else I'm going to bring? Rocking chair. And I'm going to bring a table. And for the love of God, I don't want to do this, but I think I'm going to. Bring a grandfather clock with me. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do you bring a grandfather clock into your wagon? Because I need it. Think, 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 think. Ah, smoked salmon. And some vinegar. Well, that's a little too much there. Spa. If we need salt, if we need some sage. I wonder what sh sage is. And give me a banjo. <laughs> and yes, we're going to need to play checkers and cards. Matter of fact, combine the game into the both and create an entirely new game. That involves checkers and cards. Bring a checkerboard and play cards. There. Here's something that I invented. Well, I know it's chewing tobacco, but... To me, tobacco... Oh, come on. You know better than I am. I'm Crackhead Doug. Not Lord Master, but Crackhead Doug. No wagons and parts. What kind of cell does it have wagons and parts? Bull! And yes, we're going to bring spares with us because I am going to break this wagon to hell. <coughs> I'll bring some chickens and, uh, I think we'll need two milk cows. See how much meals I can buy. Oh, well, quite enough. Let's, we'll just leave with a certain amount of money because, you know, we need the uh, money to go through ferries and- Oh shit, I forgot something. Guns! May not get enough, but just get a few bullets in a box of- I mean, a keg of gunpowder. And don't lose this rifle. Oh, god damn it! Shit! 
Well, looks like it's time to dump some stuff. We have 14 meals. Okay, what to dump? All items based on weight. What I think is way too much. I won't dump on the bullets. I fought hard to earn this money as a merchant. <laughs> oh, get rid of the flour. That's way too much flour. Oh. Okay, is that enough? Nope. Okay. Dried beans. I don't think we need dried beans. I don't think that's going to be enough either, so keep looking. No, I love my rice. What is Monday without rice? I think I used that joke already. I think it's the spare wagon parts I brought, but I'll dump those later if I decide to. Mm, threatening to get rid of the sugar. Oh, stupid me. It's the grandfather clock. I bought that grandfather clock for nothing. Matter of fact, I don't even know what a grandfather clock looks like. Is that a giant tall clock? If so, uh, I don't think I should have. The, 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 the table! No wonder. Okay, if, if this doesn't go, I'm gonna get rid of the sugar. Oh, the sugar stays safe. For now on, we're going with seven wagons and 29 people. That man in the blue shirt can say otherwise. All right, 12 hours per day and bring out the meager meals package. $15 we have. So let us go. Oh, no, accepted as captain. Well, you're elected a captain. Captain Crackhead. And the first order of the day is continue as usual. I saw that coming because of the temperature I looked down there. I fear we've grown rather shabby. My shoes have worn out and our clothes have nearly become rags. We only left about a day and it's been three miles and it's already worn out. It must be a shitty clothing store. The trail affords us few opportunities for renovation. We've had some luck fishing, better than hunting sometimes. One gentleman in our party brought some fishing hooks. I do declare those little hooks have saved us a good deal of grief. I don't think you should be breaking the ice and go fishing if we're going to go crossing the river. I do hope you're being sure to give yourselves frequent rests along the way. That's especially important when someone's injured or ailing. And be careful not to push yourselves too hard. Unfortunately, this is going to be a slow as hell trail as I once, uh, as I thought, expected because I bought mules. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. You retard. The way to treat frostbite is to warm the affected areas gradually. Don't do it too quickly, or you'll do more harm than good. Terrible advice, lady. Rub affected area with snow. Because I'm... Whoa there. Poor health, person near death. Oh my god, everyone is poor. You know what? I regret my decision to go on this trail. Filling rations for now. I want everybody to be healthy because I realize those meals are traveling so slow they can't carry their weight. So we need to start eating all that food. <laughs> so, damn, I'm stupid. Let's rest for three days. Take three, everybody. Oh, man. Look, I was trying to be stupid on purpose because I'm doing this for entertainment, but I didn't want to go that far. So. Oh my god. The retarded man who. Uh, excuse me. The retarded man who lives in a tree has the grip. The only way to treat the grip is lots of rest, liquids, and a good diet. Well, to lots of rest indeed. And we only moved like about 10 miles. This is ridiculous. It, at least we're getting a bit of a move on. It's faster than slow as a snail. 
Ja, mir auch ja. What are we waiting for? Let's cross. I don't see how we can cross right now. The ice isn't thick enough. Maybe we can break through the ice and then ford or float. I don't think we can break the ice, but I suggest we better cross on this ice here. I'm always good at imitating that man. Cowards. It's because of it's because of Lord Master isn't excuse me, crackhead Doug. I'll admit that it's probably best for us to keep pressing on despite the cold, but I do wish we could just slow the pace a little. Oh, don't worry about it. The high is a little warmer than usual. Oh my god. No! Horatio, my main man. Let's try to find some kind of marker. A stone, or at least a piece of wood, to inscribe their name and leave it on the grave. I don't see any trees nearby, so I suggest a way to give a marking on a grave is to make a snowman that resembles Horatio with a dollar hat. <laughs> I should have dumped my hats right here in tribute to him. <laughs> so he's a proper burial. You again with the grip? Oh, wait, that's the other retard who had the grip. My mama always used to give a dose of lecithin every few hours for the grip. Oh my god, I'm a big idiot. There's an important thing I really forgot. Medicine. I forgot to buy medicine. No, you will not die on me. You will not die, you retard. Well... He's dead. The Atlas has gone off to a bad start. My main man is gone and the five-year-old retard is gone. But don't worry, we're almost above freezing. Oh, it just went down. Damn cold fronts. And yes, I'm a certified meteorologist. The station. You got the medicine. Oh my god. You sick bitch. You do not have medicine. You do not have medicine in this way station. Do you have any idea how long we took? We've gone over a hundred miles traveled and it's been a month. Ridiculous. Blizzard. We shouldn't stay put and let the snow pile up around us. We might get trapped. Let's keep going. Here you go. I suppose we should stop for a while, so that those folks can get warm. Wait a minute. When I rubbed that area affected with snow with retard, he didn't die, so I guess this must have worked. If this backfires... If this backfires, I'm going to be... Nothing's happening. Okay. It's just extreme cold. More blizzard. I'm not sure what we should do. It's awful hard to travel in all this snow, but if we don't keep moving, we could wind up snowbound. You're gonna wind up snowbound after I'm done with that tree man. They'd better take care of themselves. Bad colds can easily turn into something much worse. It's just a minister vinegar. Oh shit, it's snowbound. It would be a terrible strain on our animals and wagons, not to mention ourselves, if we try to push onward in this snow. Nobody die. Rudolph man is gone. Told you. I'm, I apologize. I'm, I'm a crackhead. Why is the morale high? People are dying. Indian town. Huh. Nobody's here but you. I am Joseph Muskutin of the Fire Nation. Welcome to our home. The Fire Nation? The Fire Nation is often known as the Potawatomi. We are many bands. Our ancestors lived in the place now called Michigan. We now live in Iowa and Kansas. Oh. Like many in my village, I'm a trader. I have food, furs, and many goods made by both Indians and white folks. 
If you like, we can trade. Huh. At first, in my age, he said, and like in many village, I'm a traitor. Like as in Benedict Arnold. Meat. We need some meat. No, wait. Damn it. Go back to the winter coats. There we go. Because we don't need one because one of us died. Three of us died, that is. Um, who's left? The bike? <coughs> oh, the retarded man in the tree. Right. April Fools. Oh, thank the Lord. The snow is all gone. Okay, it's Barkeep and the, and the retarded tree man. Oh, damn it. We should stop and rest. Rest is important for recovery from a snake bite. Oh, son of a bitch, the snake got him too. We can continue at a slower pace, and the people with the injured animal can unhitch it. And no. see if it can... No, we must keep going. We're almost... There. There. I need to go in and buy medicine. So this won't ever happen again. Oh. Yeah, he's a Franklin Page wannabe. Oh, that's terrible. It's going to be more tragic if I do not get more medicine. Let's try to get them all as we can. And no, we're not going to be drunk this time. No brandy, no whiskey. I know some of you are disappointed. But I'm doing this for my own health. And get some, um, Dofer's powder, which is crack, I think. Or, or cocaine, excuse me. Same thing. Or is that James Fever powder? I don't know anymore. Stop asking me questions. You know what? Fuck it. We're getting whiskey. And is there enough for brandy? No? Did I not get any whiskey? Oh, three gallon chunks. Well, thank you, Santa Claus. Oh! I've been told you're looking for a doctor. No. I'll do the best I can. Mind you, I don't have access to all the modern equipment and medicines like the physicians back east. Yeah, that would have been nice if my stupid mind didn't tell me that I should have bought medicine back in the book. If you see any plants with reddish leaves, don't eat them or drink the water nearby. Those red leaves are a good sign of alkali. You're a good sign of alkali. Free fairy. I don't like the looks of the river right now. Hey, can anybody explain why is the ferry free? Anybody? I suggest we take the ferry. That's the safest way. No, I know there's a conversation here. Fuck it, free ferry. Oh, God damn it! I waited two days or so. Now we're gonna have to wait more. Hold on. Hello. I just want to get out and recuperate for a moment, such as save this game. There it is. Project Oregon. <laughs> That's my save name, named after Project Reality, that game I played sometimes. Hannibal McLean again. Hey, Sheriff, there's a guy with a knife. Hey, watch where you're going. What do you think? You own the place? Sheriff, look. Pardon me, folks. I was wondering whether you've seen this character. Nasty Jack Finley. He's a cattle rustler, horse thief, and all-round troublemaker. 
Well, you're looking at him. That's Nasty Jack Finley right next to you. Say, you folks heading out on the trail, be sure to check your supplies often. Mm -hmm. If you're near to running out of essentials, you can usually buy more at forts or trading posts. If you got no money, you might be able to trade with other travelers for what you need. But don't wait until it's too late. Wait a minute, what happened to Barkeep? Oh, the Barkeep is good. It's alright, he's one of the Greek gods. He's the god of alcohol. Wait a minute. His name is Dr. Estes G. Probe. Probe as in... Holy! Wait a minute. You see that guy right there where I'm pointing? And look, it's him again. Howdy. I'm Duncan Gepps, one of the few physicians you're liable to find twixt here in the Great Salt Lake. Duncan Gepps? I thought you're Dr. Probe. If you people are in need of a doctor, I'll be glad to help. Uh, no thank you. You have any other advice? Whatever you do, don't take that road they call a Hastings Cutoff. Ain't been nothing but death and misery for everyone who's traveled it. Yikes. Yeah, I don't want to get probed here. How, many, how much money do I have? Nine cents. I think it's enough to get nails. Yes. One penny left. I am no longer the rich merchant. I am no longer a rich Arab merchant. I am not a rich Italian merchant. I'm not a damn anybody. I'm just a crackhead. Rest assured, folks, this ferry is quite safe. Are you ready to go across? Since you're going to Great Salt Lake City, it don't cost nothing for using the ferry. Wow, such nice people. A little less than 60 miles on, there's a Pawnee Indian village. Don't be afraid of them. They're real friendly and are good for trading with. Free ferry. I'm waiting for a scam to happen where it says, hey, the ferry's free, and then tip over. Let's not stop here. We ought to keep moving. Howdy. 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 Do you want to trade? I am Pawnee. My name is Tall Rain Cloud. I have dried meat and two horses. I wish I could get two horses. What more is there to tell? Now is a good time for trading. Beware of our enemies, the Sioux. They are not your friends as we are. But if you don't want to trade, perhaps you're not our friends yeah, either. Yeah, I'm trading. Give me your two horses. Two horses to replace two mules. Well, can I give you winter coats? Okay, I guess not. Free ferry. God, isn't the Mormon trail nice? All the Mormons give you free money if you're going to Great Salt Lake City. Aren't they nice? Speaking of Mormons, here's Mormon Island. I think we ought to keep going. Yeah, I agree with you. That's twice, Barkeep. We should stop and rest. Rest is important for recovery from a snake bite. Yeah, I heard that before. Give me another. I tell you, if I got bit by a snake, I'd sure want to see a doctor. We before. should stop and rest. Rest Fine. is important. Goddamn deep sand. Oh, man. The Barkeep. The barkeep from Mount Olympus. Bitten by a snake. Twice. But I think in proper Greek mythical terms, a serpent. So, yeah, the gods are not on your side today, barkeep. Um, I'm trying to think of something else here. If this happens a third time, I am going to have to call a friend. And I do mean a friend. God damn you, mule. Plus, that's a big-ass mule. Look at the size of it. Compared to that man there. So, butcher for meat. 
Fuck, that is a big meal. No progress for a moment. Yeah, it's because the meals were disgusted that we were taking his balls and, and, and other parts of the meal that we would eat. Eat that ass. Yeah, I you can went there. The ass part it means meal donkey. Well technically a mule is a is a a hybrid of a horse and a donkey. It's bred together now that you think about it. And to give you corrections. Bluffs, 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 bluffs. You are bluffing, right? Ancient bluffs. When is the cholera going to happen? Um, I think I'm going to save again. Um, I'm actually going to go hunting, but I fear that I'm going to get myself shot. Where the hell is everybody? Oh, fuck it. Let's get started. <coughs> you jumped over my bullet. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I actually shot that animal. I That was a bear. I shot him right in the ass, and he's dead. He's dead behind that rock. He didn't come out. Amazing. You're supposed to shoot him in the chest or the head in order to kill the animal. But I guess we found another weak spot of the bear. The ass. The next time I see another bear, I'm going to shoot him in the ass again. Alright, aim for the ass. Oh, he didn't aim for that ass. Yes! <laughs> Alright, one more time. One more ass. Alright. Yeah. Okay, just one more, one more animal. No ass this time. I want something else than a bear. God damn it! Yay. It dance, bear, dance! You're the dancing bear, huh? Yeah, I missed on purpose. I just want to kill one more animal, one more big one. I don't want a bear. I want a buffalo or something. Why am I sh shooting ahead? I shot myself. Oh wow. I didn't die. You jackass! We ought to stop for a while. The animal may yet recover. Well, you're gonna... <gasps> Barkeep! Missing person, you say? Well, we better start looking. Oh, Zeus! Bring me back, Barkeep! Oh, Barkeep, thank goodness you're back. Where the hell were you? That's never happened to me in a long time. We had to rest. Because the meals are tired. Oh no, not again. <laughs> okay, you're getting a rest. You get a free pass on that one. Fuck this gay earth. Alright, stop here for a moment. Just stop here. Okay, let's review what was been. <coughs> We start off with 14 meals, right? And how many meals do we have? 11. We lost three meals. One died, and the two disappeared because we t continued as usual. So, they can't carry their own weight now. I have a buck left. Uh, not a buck, a penny. I should have never bought those meals. Hey, any of you got... Oh my god, no, no more meals. Oxen. I need oxen. I'm being serious now. You got spare ox yokes, but no oxen. 
One more chance. Fuck you forever. Okay. At least you're getting a move on. No, bullshit. You're moving. Well, this should clear my head for a moment. Okay, barkeep. Let me tell you something. You've been bitten by a snake twice, and somehow you wandered off on your own. Were you serving beer to some animals or something? I don't know, I'm just a crackhead. Or maybe I was so high I left somebody behind. <laughs> just use your imagination, folks. Conditions aren't likely to improve anytime soon. Well, here we are at the fort. Well, I can't buy anything here, but... They tell me someone in this wagon train is looking for a doctor. Is that true? Perhaps. Well, to be honest with you, I haven't been in regular practice for a number of years. But I'll be right pleased to do what I can. Next time you get to a town with a decent pharmacist, you might want to stock up on some basic medicines. Of course, you might have a pretty good supply already. You know what? Crackhead Duck should have been a pharmacist, not a merchant. Because, you know, drug dealers don't take drugs themselves. And i got to stop making those drug jokes. Which way is west? Well, I think west is this way. Is it not? Wait a minute, what the f We can continue at a slower pace. An injured and the draft animal is no good to nobody. Shoot it. I'll take your advice, but we're gonna have to rest and turn this damn thing around. I took the wrong way. I was Oh my god, no progress. Did we lose another mule? No. Oh, no, no, no. That's it. We need an ox. I cannot deal with these jackasses anymore. An ox. Fuck the soap. We need... We need an ox. Yeah! A wagon accident, well, I figure we're seeing the elephant for sure now. Elephant. Oh yeah, we need... Oh my god, Barkeep, why do you have to be such a butt monkey? We should rest a bit before moving on. Okay, west is this way. No progress. I need another rocks, because... Watch. Oh, excellent deal. Let's get rid of this poor ass worn out mule. Screw you. We're finally gonna get a move on. What? Did you just went back to the water to take it a turn for the worse of drowning? Barky, you're gonna fucking die. You're gonna. Hold on. It's Register Cliff. It's my favorite place to hunt. This should calm my head. Just listen to nature. Listen to nature being shot at! <laughs> okay, new advice, people. The next time we play Oregon Trail, don't ever buy mules if you are going to a trail where you have a fully loaded wagon because mules can't take fully loaded wagons. They prefer to travel light. And if you think you're, even if you don't like your mule, I suggest you shoot him in the face. One, two, three, four. <laughs> buffalo. Damn it! Just one buffalo is good enough, right? We don't want to hunt him to extinction. That's a different bear. Now we got the grizz, and the black bear. The buffalo, give me another big one, like a deer or something.
Okay, one more shot. As I said, one more shot. Watch me die. Okay, I didn't again. Holy shit! Oh, it's a buffalo stampede! Whatever you do, be careful. A buffalo stampede is nothing to trifle with. Someone could get killed. Okay. <laughs> Let's kill them all! Die! Die, Buffalo! Die! 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 Oh my god, how many more are there? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, look, there's three buffalo left. Man. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> 4,000 pounds! <laughs> oh, I'm surprised I haven't died by a gunshot or get mauled by a mountain lion or something. Huh. You know what's funny? Since we brought in the ox, um, we usually bring spare ox yokes and we never bought any ox from the start. Well now we have and now they broke it. If you can't fix the yoke and you don't have the spare, maybe someone around here can trade you for a new one. Ah, damn it, didn't fix it. It's alright. There are things worse than this. Devil's Gate. Is the son of the devil here? I think the son of the devil is probably... Crackhead Doug, not Lord Master. How you doing, huh? Any medicine? Whiskey. Good. How much is that hat? A dollar and a half? Not bad. I didn't shoot a lot of boats, but I sure spent a lot of gunpowder on that. Deep sands. Yeah, that was a good trade. Get rid of another broke ass mule. I'm impatient now. I want to get there fast. Is Mr. Lander in there? I suggest you look in the guidebook to determine the correct road. I suggest you shut your. You got anything that costs a pretty penny? Because, you know, I'm a poor merchant. Who sells crack? Uh. Oh. Sorry about that. Spaghetti and meatballs. Good, good lunch. Ground meat, not meatballs. Hey there, immigrant. I trust you're being careful roundabouts here. Why, this is what they call the Dry Sandy, and it's one of the cussedest places this side of blazes. Looks like dry sand, but underneath the sand is mud. Real deep mud you can get stuck in, and sometimes quicksand. Put an old worn out mule or ox out in front of your wagon and let him lead the way. If he falls in the quicksand, ain't no great loss, but that ain't likely. Them old critters somehow seem to know a New set of rules. Don't ever use the word mule on whenever um, Lord Master's around because I will shoot you in the face. Like this. Bam! You're dead. And yes, I did that on purpose. Oh. Hmm. I'll be right pleased to pitch in and help you fix that wagon tongue. Well, you failed. Hard decision. Hire some Indians or take a free ferry. Hmm. Let's go take a free ferry. 
See, we don't need the Indians help because all they do is take your clothes because, you know, they're creep. Creepy. New Fort Bridger? What happened to the old Fort Bridger? Hello, can anyone tell me what happened to the old Fort Bridger? You there. Howdy, folks. Welcome to New Fort Bridger. Just recently rebuilt. I'm Lieutenant Cassius Fisk. Cool name. Well, the Mormons who owned and ran the old fort after they bought Jim Bridger out burned it down during a disagreement with the government. But the army has now taken over the site and built a brand new fort. If you're going to Oregon, take the road heading north. That's the best way to go to California, too, unless you want to visit Great Salt Lake City. That's a good place to get fresh animals for the remainder of your journey. To do that, head southwest. Well, thank you very much, but, uh, I am going to Great, Al Great Salt Lake City and sell there. It's not that I plan on going to Oregon to build new land, nor going to California to get gold. I'm going to Great Salt Lake City because I'm a crackhead, not a Mormon. A crackhead. Two different people. Alright? So do not dispute with me. If you do dispute with me, I'm going to shoot you. I have a feeling if I shoot one more time, I'm likely going to get... You know what happens. Howdy! This here ferry is the best way to get across the Bear River. Since you're going to the city of the Great Salt Lake, you don't have to pay to cross. You be careful going through those canyons up the road a ways. Trails rough something awful. Can do a wagon a mess of damage. Well, thank you very much. But you know what I'm going to do? Since this is Bear River, I'm going to go hunting. But first, let me save the game before I go hunting. Oh, the guy with the knife. Yikes. There. The bear is dead nearby Bear River. Thank you, buddy. Barkeep, barkeep, barkeep. I think we ought to stop for a couple of days. When people are all tuckered out, they tend to get sick, like this. Oh, wait a minute. I know a cure for the bad cold for for the barkeep from Mount Olympus. Olive oil, because they have olive trees from Greece. Hello! 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 Well, that was interesting. Hogs back. Right. Get moving. I'm surprised nothing's happening. Whoa! Whoa, stupid. Oh, the retarded man who lives in a tree. I forgot you're still alive. Good food and a few days' rest will go a long way towards helping the injured to heal. Yeah, good food and rest a few days. Mm. Well, since the barkeep has been a butt monkey. Put salt in it! I'm sick of that bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Damn it. See, no one is sick. Everybody's fine. Except I put that. Where's that guy? Uh, yeah, I put salt in it. You got a problem with that, Mac? Wait a minute. I ain't feeling so tired. Those folks whining about wanting to rest are just a bunch of crybabies. You're a bunch of crybabies. <laughs> Barkeep. See, we made it, Barkeep. We're in Great Salt Lake City. Everything's alright. I guess. Alt. I guess he's infamous in these parts. What kind of name are those? L attorneys. Lomax, Pesky, and Biggles. <laughs> Silly name. Say, you folks heading out on the trail. Be sure to check your supplies often. Okay. That's fine. Whoa, it's you again. I understand you folks are in need of a doctor. But you're not Alexander Harris. You're Estes G. Probe. You know what? I don't know if that's appropriate or not because in today's world events, there's an ongoing Syrian civil war, and then it says the French intervened to halt fighting in Syria in 1860. What are the French doing in Syria at that time? I don't know. If you people from France can teach me about history of that land over there, please do tell me, because I love to learn things. Tony! You know what? 
I kind of want to explore out here for a bit. Um, let me, let's go to Hastings Cutoff before we settle in the Great Salt Lake. No fresh water, but this is fresh water, is it not? I don't want to go to the desert, but I'll just explore, alright? Oh my god, infection. Hold on, I'm gonna do something. Well, that didn't work. Um, my original plan was to get a friend from uh, TeamSpeak so I can chat with somebody, so I'd have asked him a question. And the guy would be like, so what you're doing, Lord Master? And I would have said, well, I'm playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And I'm calling you because I need your help. And the question I would have asked him is this infection situation, which is to clean and dress the wound, apply sulfur, antiseptic, or to rub salt. This person says... An infection requires cleaning, treatment with alcohol, iodine or hydrogen peroxide, and fresh bandages. Well, let me be honest with you now, since there's no one to answer it, so I guess I'm going to have to do my way. Put some more salt in it. I think we ought to check it out. Never can tell what we might find. A kettle and a winter scarf. Skull Valley? I don't want him to be buried here. I want him to be buried by the lake or something. Put some more so Oh my god, Barkeep! No! How did Barkeep die? This man's supposed to die first, not Barkeep. We can't stop to bury him. If we don't reach our destination by winter, there's gonna be a lot more deaths to worry about. You know what? Fuck this. You're coming with me, Barkeep. I don't care if the Greek gods are angry at you. You have died of some unknown ailment. I think the gods have cursed me. What a grievous thing it is to lose a com- uh, Damn it. You know what? The retarded man who lives in a tree will be buried. <laughs> Enough, Zeus. Enough. I know you're angry. We're gonna settle here. Okay, there. That's the end. <clears throat> okay. I was the only survivor. I'm crackhead Doug, alright? Everyone else is dead. And I have to bring the body of Barkeep with me so we can be together at the Great Salt Lake City. <laughs> it's dead. Zeus was pissed. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, stake the land claim. 156 acres. That's probably the lowest I've ever seen. Um, it's because the I own this much acres because I'm living all by myself. I'll bury Barkeep at some point. Or take him back to Mount Olympus. Damn. That's the lowest score I've probably ever seen whenever I played stupid. Matter of fact, it was stupid to begin with. It, I mean, I didn't mean... Uh, I didn't know that I forgot to buy medicines. <laughs> well, just based on how my mind ran, I was truly a crackhead. Let's see what lies ahead for Crackhead Doug. Crackhead Doug originally settled in 1860 at Great Salt Lake City, but a few years later moved south to the ever-growing Mormon settlement of Provo. Provo? Provo? No, it depends how you people tell me to pronounce it. Ever the restless soul, Crackhead Doug decided after several years of only moderate success to move north to Ogden, Utah, and establishing a business that proved more stable and satisfying. Um... A number of prominent names in Utah history, politics, and society have been numbered among Crackhead Doug's descendants, including a U.S. Secretary of State, U.S. Secretary of State, Crackhead Leslie, and a World War I flying ace. Well, today, it's about a few days away until the anniversary, the 100th anniversary of World War I, and the descendant of Crackhead Doug participated. An excellent pilot he was. And finally... The multi-million dollar founder of a company that became one of the nation's largest manufacturers of fountain pens. Hmm. Fountain pens. To be honest, I don't think it should have happened. I think I should have died. 
Uh, I need to get out of here. I don't want to be here. I need to die. I need to commit suicide. Shoot me. Shoot me. Yes. Assault. Damn me. I should have put salt in that wound. God damn it. You're dismissed, good sir. Ah, oh, yeah. The Greek gods are pissed. I'd want to be with Barkeep in in heaven. Rub salt. That's the end. Hello. Hello. There we go. Crackhead dog died. There. My descendants have never existed. Never existed. <laughs> there. I have averted the world of Crackhead dog. And that is why retard. Barkeep. The retarded man who lives in the tree. That other guy I can't remember. And Horatio. <sighs> what a miserable ass trail. I did not want it to end like that. I do not want to have a happy ending. Because even if I hit end game, I would still be disappointed. In order to save myself from disappointed, I have to kill myself. And that's what I did. <sighs> so yeah, that's it for Oregon Trail, everybody. Um, that's the last trail I will ever do by my own free will. If you want me to do another Oregon Trail... All you have to do is ask, send me comments of requests if you want me to see to do another one. Because it'll be by you this time. If you want me to be back in the Oregon Trail. So yeah, that's it for Oregon Trail everybody. I'm Lord Master and you're not.